boys i have something special for y'all today i have a video on how to get better at the game i'm gonna offer you five tips on how to get better at the game um and notice that i'm not titling this uh like how to climb ranks or anything like that because i don't think climbing ranks makes you better at the game but i do think getting better at the game makes you climb ranks and by that i mean there are ways to kind of cheese the cheese the system i mean queuing with a friend especially a jungler uh you know sticking to one god that you're kind of like one tricking you know there are ways to climb ranks but i don't necessarily think those get you any better so these are five tips that are gonna make you better at the game and as you get better you are gonna climb um so without further ado let's jump into it All right, so I don't want to take too much of y'all's time, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. Uh, tip number one being you need to re you need to think about setting everything to instant cast. Um, it's something that the best players do, um, and if you you know you want to be the best you can, uh, I highly suggest you do it. Um, taking Sirket as example, the amount of times you have to click to use all of her abilities um, if you're not on instant cast is just insane. And the the thing is is I would say the biggest problem with not having everything on instant cast is accidentally auto attacking. So if you, if you, you know, you're trying to, um, you're trying to full combo somebody, uh, if you get any sort of auto attacks in there by accident, you might completely miss out on her passive, um, which you do not want to be doing. Um, so it's just the, the fact that you could accidentally auto attack, uh, is really, really bad for Sir Cat. It also speeds it up. I mean, if you switch everything back to instant, if you just play, what the hell? Um, you can just, uh, you, you really can, you, you'll notice how much quicker you can do things once you switch to instant. Um, and I, I don't just mean abilities either, I do mean for actives as well. Um, so I, I play with all my actives on instant cast. Um, this, honestly, once you make the switch, it'll just feel so much better. The big, the big reason for this, again, is just you don't want to accidentally auto attack. So what will happen a lot of times is, you know, you you get put in combat or whatever, and it's you, you're watching it wind down. You're trying to blink away, and you may accidentally auto. And then even even though you get your blink off, you might slow you down. You might accidentally auto and hit somebody and put you back in combat. Um, there's just there's so many things that can go wrong. You know, you might blink and then auto because you were spamming the click to get the blink off, and then that slows you down and you die anyways. There's so many things that go wrong. It's just it's just better off not doing it. Um, once you get used to it, it'll just be so much better. Also, just a quick thing. Um, also, learning out how to wind up autos off of blink is really important. I have a lot of attack speed, so it's kind of awkward. Um, let's sell my attack speed items real quick. I don't think this has attack speed on it, but I'll just sell it. Um, so you notice how, like, the, the auto animation on Sir Ket, I click, and there's a full, like, there's a full, you know, quarter of a second until she autos. You can actually blink, and blinking does not reset the auto animation, so you can technically blink as you're autoing. So if you watch, notice how that instantly came out. Um, let me go reset blink. Um, so I'm going to blink and then auto. I'm going to blink auto. And then... Oh. And then if I do the wind up, notice how it just instantly comes out. Um, this can be really beneficial for if you are blinking on somebody else who has blink. They might be trying to... Like they might be trying to see if you have blink, so they're gonna wait to blink away. You can you can help just instantly get that damage off if you're blinking. Um, I also see it happen a lot um, in solo lane. Um, if you're weak and they're just trying to burst you down, they might sit there next to the wave, so not autoing the wave, and just be winding up their big auto. So I see it. I see it on Kukulin a ton. Like auto auto, and as he's about to use the big auto, he'll blink. So here I'll show you an example with Circuit. Auto auto. Big auto, instant damage. Obviously, that's not a huge damage boost, but it is a damage boost um, if you if you let it happen to you. So that's one thing you want to keep an eye on um, in on a defensive end, but also you want to get you want to get to where you can do it too. Um, and just learning how to kind of abuse the blink mechanic is really important as far as autos, um, just getting extra damage off. Tip number two is playing other roles. Um, I know I know you probably hear this all the time, you know, to get really good at the game, you need to be able to play all the roles. You might say, oh, I don't fucking want to play support. Support sucks. The thing is, is if you're an ADC main, playing support, you'll learn what you want your ADCs to do. You may play with an ADC who's better than you are, and you'll see how they play engagements. You'll also learn what you can do as a support. And so when you're an ADC, you like, you'll see, oh, my support should be doing this because I know I would do it. And then it's like, 
obviously you don't want to like expect people to do the exact same things you do but you do want to learn um what you can do on every roll so that you can expect your teammates to do it um and also just pick up things from from watching other people uh say you're say you're a mid laner um if you play soul lane and you learn soul lane matchups, you can learn when to expect a totem. You can learn, you know, oh, this guy's gonna have pressure, so uh, I need to know the enemy teammate. The enemy team solo may have pressure, so I need to know that he could rotate out early. Um, just stuff like that. Knowing how TP, if they go TP, knowing that they're gonna be there sooner. Um, just really paying attention to to everything that you possibly can. I, I really think if you want to be good at the game, you need to be good at all the roles. Tip number three is tracking timers. Uh, one of the most important things you can do in Smite is to stay farmed up. Um, so if you you need to track your own timers, you know, if your blue buff is spawning in 30 seconds, you want to be on your blue buff within a couple seconds of it spawning and you want to be clearing it quickly and then you want to be farming. Um, if they're clearing their blue buff on, on cooldown, on spawn every single time and you're not, that's just a cooldown differential that's just uh, experience differential, excuse me. That's just gonna build up throughout the course of the game. And you might be doing everything else right, uh, and they're just still building that lead. Or maybe you know they're getting back camps on the way, and then they're you miss a couple minions here and there. They could be building that level lead, um, and then they could just you know out farm you and out trade you because they have items and whatnot on top of uh, on top of XP as well. Um, you might be you know wondering how you're losing these engagements when you're just passively putting yourself behind, not being on cooldown. Um, not being on your, your, your buff timers on cooldown. Um, another thing that's really important that I would suggest for you to do is uh, keep an eye on their timers. Even if it might seem completely like uh, rudimentary and just not important, um, say y'all's blue buff are on the same timers, right? Y'all both clear blue buff at the same time and then a fight breaks out in mid a minute from then. If say they die and like their jungler's on the other side of the map or something, you never know. If you know for a fact though that your blue is on the same timer as, as, uh, as their blue, you might rotate this way and go to their blue rather than rotating this way and going to your blue. And that's just something uh, you want to always keep an eye on and try any chance you can. You want to be still and farm away from them, um, especially if you're like a god like Kukulun. Kukulun does such a good job of just out farming and out rotating people because he clears so fast and then he transforms and then he just beats the fucking brakes off everything in the game. Um, the gods like Tyr, Wukong, like all, a lot of warriors clear really well and then can rotate um, and say, you know, however the fight goes, you know, your, your fucking mid three might all die, but their soul laner gets poked and has to back. You could still make a rotation to the to the blue if, you know, you know their jungler won't be there in time. Um, so just definitely keeping, keeping track of timers and all that. So that's tip number three. Tip number four is plan what you're going to do next. Um, so play off your power spikes, play off your buff timers, play off of... Um, Old timers and everything you know so if you if you're walking a lane and they're poked and you maybe saw them dash to lane or something just know that you know oh i could all in them here get poke on them go to totem go to their backs do that kind of stuff um I, it's hard for me to tell you know exactly what to do every time um that'll be just something that you'll learn but just actively even if it's the incorrect thing to do you'll learn that too and you'll be like okay well i shouldn't have done that i should have done this um but as long as you're actively learning and actively pushing yourself to think about what you're going to do next. Um, and that also helps you just keep a keep the game um, macro managed. Um, so if you're if you're actively thinking about buff buff timer, back camp timers, um, blue buff timers, you're going to be you're going to be also knowing that Agni just OK. Um, you're going to be actively knowing that, oh, well, their jungler could be over here. He should be over here because of buff timers. Um, so you play that differently. Um, and then also just knowing like, oh, I need to back and not letting yourself stay out too long because you didn't back and then you missed a power spike and then you're now losing a trade to a Wukong because he backed on his power spike. Stuff like that. Obviously, I'm using Solo as example because that's what I play, but just um, it's, it's, very, it's very good for every role to plan and know what you're going to do next. That's tip number four. Tip number five um, is just have fun. And I know it's going to be like, oh, fuck this guy. He just fucking... He just fucking, he ran out of tips and so now he's saying have fun. I seriously mean it. If you're not having fun, you're not going to be getting better at the game because you're going to get burned out. You're going to be typing at your teammates. You're going to be like, what the fuck? This guy fucking fed the past 14 games he was in with me and now he's feeding now. It doesn't fucking matter, man. When you get better at the game, you will climb. You will carry yourself out of those dog shit games. You will, you will find a way to win games that you shouldn't and that's when you will climb um and you've got to be enjoying yourself you got to enjoy the ride if you're not enjoying it like come on man it's a video game it's a pastime you're not playing professionally i'm not playing professionally if you're playing professionally you're probably not watching this video um 
just have fun, you know, and find ways that you can have fun. Play gods that you enjoy enough to where even if you're getting the break speed off you, um, you're still enjoying it. Um, get out of your comfort zone, try new things, um, and then just don't take Reg too seriously. Again, it's it's literally just it's just a game, um, and it's just a, a pastime, if you will. So don't take it too seriously. Enjoy yourself, and know that as you grind, you'll learn stuff, and you will get better at the game. Um, and if you're constantly worried about other people, if you're constantly uh, just focusing on them rather than yourself, you're not going to get better at the same rate as if you focused on yourself and were planning ahead um, and getting out of your comfort zone as far as comfort picks, um, learning how to play by yourself rather than relying on somebody that you play with who might be really good. Like, so what I say about that is like, if you're queuing with a jungler every game and you're a soul laner, you might use that as a crutch. You might, you know, you might learn to rely on the jungler to be good. Whereas in ranked games, even at higher MMRs, you can't always expect your teammates to be good. Um, so you just got to learn how to play around that kind of stuff. Um, but that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize I've been lacking on the YouTube content. I promise I will get back to it soon. And I really do appreciate you guys hanging out. Take it easy, boys. I will catch you on Twitch at 11 p.m. Eastern, five days a week. I don't stream on weekends. Peace.